Welcome back to another episode of Hashtag Academy Series 3, Episode 3 today. And today's all about playing for your shirt. The iconic Hashtag Academy shirt. That's what both our men and women's players can earn today. That's right, the women are back and today they are taking on a team called London Bees who are actually a reserve team of a championship side. That is the second level of women's football. It's going to be a tough test, much tougher than the test they faced in the first trial. So a big step up. As for the men, we've got two squads going head to head. If you saw last episode, you'll know we had four squads of trialists, which we whittled down to just two. They play each other today. From that, we make the best squad possible, who will then play next episode against Hashtag United first team. Remember, if you're a member of the Hashtag United channel, you can watch these episodes happen live. We did it last week. We're doing it this episode. We're doing it next week. Get involved. Just £5. It all goes towards the club. It helps us do all the great stuff you hopefully love that we do. Just click the link in the description to join or click the button that says join if you can see it. For now, though, let's get straight into the action and find out who's playing today, starting off with the women. OK, it's nearly game time. Let's take a look at starting 11 for our women trialists. In goal, we have Ellie Strickland. At right back, Rihanna Everett. Centre back, Beth Brogan and Megan Alloway. Left back, Sophie Cochran. We have Tyra uh, Yanis Mills in CDM. Marnie Harriman and Macy Windsor ahead of Tyra. Then we've got Macy Walcock up front with Tara Copeland and Ruby Kilden either side. On the bench, that leaves Ellie Finneran, Emma Samways, Isabella Darby, Lavinia Tidy Jones, Rebecca Sargent, Sienna Sherman and Jessica Louise Wright. Everyone's going to get equal game time, so if they're not starting, they will get subbed on and they'll all get a chance to shine. Let's play. The Tags versus the Bees. So who are we looking for, right? Obviously Tyra in CDM. She's been doing captain duty and she's going to be a player to watch. She's just put a bib on now. Definitely keep an eye on Beth Brogan at centre-back. She's the girl on the all-yellow kind of uh, top and socks. I mean, anyone, anyway, Macy Walcock scored a lot of goals in that trial and scored quite a few goals against us, actually, our, our younger under-18s team recently. Gone through already. Chance here down the uh, right side for London Bees. Could be an early one for the Oranges. The Bees, should they be not in more like bee-like colours? Save. Eddie Strickland there's just he's got something to it, but spilled it a little bit. Chance, well cleared. And Eddie, Eddie Strickland's, Strickland's got on top again. of it there. Well done. So it's going to be cut out there. Oh, nice turn on the ball there to try and protect it. But a good tackle in there as well. And here comes Tyra. It's a little bit heavy with the touch there. She's confident. She wants to play out. But she's shown... Oh, she's oh get it back strength. There. Tyra Mills. Great, you'd love to see that. That's Ruby Kilden now. Tyra's available. Can she find options. her? It's Harriman on the ball again. Looking to find Tyra Copland. Macy Walcock ahead. Goal machine, Macy Walcock. Here's uh, Rihanna oh, Everett down the line for Walcock here. I think she scored at least three in that trial. She's going to keep this in, nice. but then the cross doesn't find anyone. Oh, oh no. It's a mistake from Sophie. Big Kukoran. chance here. Chance here for London Bees. It's three on two. Taking the time. Ellie oh, Strickland. Ellie Strickland. And you know what? Her teammates there will be disappointed. She had absolutely, she had two women over on the further left hand side. She had time just to pass it around us there and make sure it went in. But Ellie Strickland, you've got to give her. Huge credit for stopping yet another shot. And they, they had options there. That's three on two. She could have passed it. I, I think she's right to take the shot, but obviously... Oh, look at this. Oh. Now's a chance. We're, we're out of position here. She's onside. Where's all our defenders, Seb? A bit disorganised here. here. And here's the number four. Touch is a bit heavy. Oh, it's going to be a goal. Uh. It's going to be a goal. And I can't blame the keeper for that one, mate, because she's been good. And, and we lost the ball, and suddenly it was three on one. Yeah, keeper Ellie Strickland was completely overran there. I think the defence were in absolute all sorts. Possession turned over and then London Bees had players over. Ended up just passing it around us. It's going to get across Megan Alloway. Well done. Back to keeper. Well done, Megan. Oh, no. Not the best kick from Sergeant, though. Yeah, she might shoot. You don't want to kick shoot. it to it's there. And that is not the start Sergeant will have been looking for. She's given wow. it to the most dangerous player on London Bees. And an absolute gift. What a, sh what a shame. I mean, can we... I know it's not our player, but can we talk about that finish? Yeah, it was pretty composed from there. That's unreal, mate. Yeah, I mean, it's really not about the result today. No, it's about in not. individual performances more than anything, which is not what you want to usually stress in a football game. But obviously, in a trial situation, it's a bit different. Oh, Tidy Jones. Here we go, Samways. Can you can you play in Jones here? She can do it herself. I think she does. She, she needs someone to play it too, though. Oh, it's a penalty! It's a penalty. Now, who takes it, Sam Ben? I'll give it Samways if she wants Samways it. Samways wins it. In the last episode, we saw... 
uh, Joel Older win a penalty, and we were talking about it. We thought the only fair way to decide who takes it is the winner of the penalty. She and didn't he, win it, mate. he did take it. But she's giving it to who? Lavinia Jones. Where is she going to put this? I think she should go bottom right. Lavinia. Tidy. Jones! Oh, it's a good <laughs> penalty. That's what we're here for. 2 1, game on. Let's go. Come on, Tidy Jones. Tidy finish. Tidy strike, by the way. She wow. put her foot right through that, and there's no saving it. Great pen. And other than the unfortunate mishap, we'd be level. Offside. Come back from offside line. I should. down here. The nine is through. Sergeant's got to do a bit. Oh, Ooh, you know what? If she's, she's gone it, down, she's he has given it. And that is unfortunate. Fair play to the number nine for staying on her feet because she could I've... easily have gone to ground there. Yeah, no, I agree. I think it's a penalty as well, but I think they're offside. Yes! yes! It's a great save. The rebound's oh, going to go in. But she oh. saved it. She's shown enough there. Yeah. Weirdly, the goalkeeper comes out in a positive from that, though. <laughs> Weirdly. Conceding the penalty, conceding the goal, but she saved a pen. She probably comes out with a little bit of profit there. Macy Windsor. So they get away. Darby needs to get across. Finner and Ars, a lovely little flick. Play advantage here. Oh, Going to wow. get the shot off. could have stopped there, surely. Wow. The goals are raining in right now, Seb. It's this is always a danger if it could happen at this level. You know what I'll say is that it's so bizarre because we were... Nowhere near as sort of impressive in the first half. And we were right in there. The second half, we've been better. But it's every attack they've scored. Finds Samways on the edge. Samways moves it quickly to right. Nice. Nice feet from Jess Wright. Whips it in. Oh, Can they come? Oh, Macy wins going to land for Macy? Jess Wright's shown a little bit. Yeah, she has. She's shown enough to get past the player there. Derby's done well. She's in here. Go on, Windsor. Get can there. You, can you get there? Can get you there. get there? Put it across. She did. Oh, it's gone in. It's gone in. Oh, was that a shot? I don't know. No, that is, it doesn't matter what that is. She's put that into the corridor of uncertainty. Exactly what a good winger does. You haven't got an option. Hard, across the goal. Anything can happen, and it did. And it's another goal. And she showed good pace there. Great tenacity to not give that up. And we've got one back, Spen. Right, here is a chance, though, for Walcock. Oh, Macy. Go on, Macy. Go to goal. Get Go to front. goal. She for a second. Finish. Finish. Oh, it's composure on toast. Macy Windsor has <laughs> really was... grown into this game. As soon as she moved out to the left-hand side, we identified, didn't we? She didn't like coming to get the ball too much in the middle of the park. She comes out wide when the ball comes to her. She's caused danger. Final whistle's been blown here. It's, you know what? 4-3 to a second-tier reserve side. There is absolutely no shame in that. The result wasn't important anyway. We were here for some standout performances and we saw some, didn't we, Seb? We really did. I'm very, very pleased, to be honest. Disappointing, there was that spell where they scored three goals in about sort of 10 minutes because um, we did look a lot better in the second half. I think the process was perfect. What we did throughout that game is we were able to identify who were the stronger players. And once we got them all around each other, we started to be a lot more involved in the game. So I think that was a very valuable thing for the judges and for Jason, and hopefully for the chat as well, because they're about to vote on one of these women to go through. Jace, tough test today, but how have you found it? Yeah, well, we knew it was a tough test. That's why we set the fixture up. Um, you know, in one way, we needed to see what quality they've got because they want to play with the National League team, Tier 4 side. So uh, we needed to provide the best opposition. And um, London B's top of the National League reserve. So that was a good test for them. It was a little bit harsh on the girls in the sense of, obviously, they didn't have any prep together. They don't know each other. So we literally threw them all together 10 minutes before. And... Um, they acquitted themselves well. I mean, 4 1 down, they could have easily collapsed, and some of them showed good character. And to get back to 4 3, and um, yeah, it was um, there were some pleasing bits in that. And what's next for the uh, the players going through? Well, we're going to select a few, and they're going to merge with the first team, and we're going to take them down to a friendly, and we're playing a tier three side, so a, a team that's above our level as well. So it's a really good test to see how they integrate with our players, and then you know see if they can cut their teeth at that level as well. And obviously UCFB are our partners and you've actually spent a bit of time there, haven't you? At UCFB? Yeah, yeah. So I currently work with them full time as a lecturer on the International Football Business Programme. But they run football um, degrees and sports management degrees in in those sort of areas. But football specifically um, for marketing, finance, law. Um, my programme is the International Football Business Programme. Undergraduate courses, postgraduate courses. Two iconic campuses in the UK at the Etihad Stadium and in Wembley. And then I've got the international study hubs around um, Australia. Australia, Canada and the USA. So you know, it's a, the, the place to go for education, for football business anyway. So Ricardo, who was your player of the match? 
Number 30, Elena Finneran. She just controlled the back line very well and she really composed on the ball and just defended amazingly and her position worked really good. And I saw her first go in episode one and it just blew my mind so I'm going to go with her. At the age of 23, I think she'd be a really good fit for Hashtag United's women's team. Okay, so we've heard from our special judge there, uh, Ricardo. He has gone with Ellie Finneran as his pick, all right? Solid, solid centre-back slash centre-mid. Now it's time to find out who our live audience went with. You can see the vote results on the screen. Emma Samways has won the vote, and I can see why she's been impressing in both episodes, so she's through. Emma, congratulations. You were the stream's player of the match. How does it feel? It feels good. I'm a bit shocked. Um, I don't think I played my best performance, but I'm really happy that other people have seen it and they want me to do well. So it feels really good and I'm happy. And how do you feel like the process has been for you? It's been good. It's been a lot tougher than the first trial today, but I think it was a good test and it allowed us to work together better more. Um, I think we all took on, well, so I took on what the coach said at half time and I stuck to my player, tried to impress and use my skills and ability as best as I could. So I'm happy with especially the second half. So as well as the vote pick Emma Samways and our guest judge pick uh, Ellie Finneran, the gaffer Jason Stevens said he had just a few more spots for remaining female candidates to incorporate into a first team friendly soon. So I can reveal after some deliberations and some difficult discussions, these are the other women players going through. Macy Windsor, Isabella Darby, Tyra Mills, and we're going to call back Megan Wearing, who didn't feature in today's episode because of a fixture clash, but she impressed us so much in that first trial, we're going to bring her back in. So they are the remaining candidates on the women's series. One of those is going to win the contract and we'll find out next time we see them in action. For now though, let's pick up with the men. Okay, let's take a look at the two teams going head to head. The black team is basically the best of the rest from the, uh, the teams who didn't win last episode. In goal, starting is George Parkin. The right back, Sam Blackholly. That was Marlon Harewood's pick of the bunch last episode. Centre back starting is Rowan Dawling and Jamie Ovington with Joshua McFall at left back. Centre mid, we have Kyron Cameron and Liam Mulligan with Carl Mendes just ahead. Callum Palmer on the right wing, Jake Lindsay on the left, Benny Fiadzamore up front. Everyone on the bench will come on and get equal playing time. The Orange team were our victorious team last time out. They've been bolstered with a few additions to make the squads even. In goal, they have Harrison Cole. Right back, Matthew Woolridge comes in. Ray Snares is centre-back with Bobby Breen. Byron Humbles, who we saw mostly at centre-back last episode, moves to left-back. In midfield, Chuck Smanecki and Yoni Vukaj together with Luca Capadia just in front. And the front three is Eddie Cooper, Reese Antoine da Costa and Chaka Barnett. Michael Pantiru will do a little bit of time for both teams in goals. We've got three goalkeepers. We're trying to make it equal for everyone. Let's play. Let's go. We're underway. Carl Mendes, a bit of a wild card set, would you say? Carl Mendes is a wild card. He likes to get on the ball and try things, Ooh. but he is... Oh, here's a chance here. He's onside. Chaka, Chaka Barnett. Barnett. Oh, okay. Interesting. If he was prepared to take that onto his left foot there, he had acres. That is also one thing. Like I know that I was very bullish on Jake Lindsay last week, and I think rightly so, but Jake Lindsay did consistently look to use his right whenever he could. He got away with it. We're gonna, everyone's going to get minutes, but if I'm looking at the black team, you know what I'm doing right now? I'm getting... I'm, I was, it was this man I was talking about, to be fair, Mendes. I'm thinking get Brian Buntamba on, but to be fair, Mendes has done well there, and he's found Lindsay. And Callum Palmer's at the back post in quite a lot of space. He gets it to Mulligan him. on the edge. Mulligan on the left foot, gets a shot off Harrison Coles. Safe. Hands are tested, and they pass the test. That's the question. Jake Lindsay last week got the ball and ran every time, and almost every time it came off for him. But what I want to see is, does he run at the right moments? Can he make that decision? And there he did that. He made a good decision to not take the man on, but to bring inside to Liam Mulligan, resulting in a shot on goal. So decision-making is key, and there will need to be, because you can't just run at the defender every time now, because the standard should be that little bit higher. Good turn Luca from Cabadia. Lucas. Very good. Luca Cabadia here. Goes out wide to... Waldridge. Eddie Cooper. Oh, the Cooper. Waldridge is behind him. Eddie Cooper still got it, though. Cooper left foot across. Not a bad one! And Reese Antoine wow. da Costa was a whisker away from heading that into the back of the net. Huge opportunity. And the thing is, like, if you get a goal to your name in a trial, you remember has got a goal. That goes next to your name. What a chance for Antoine da Costa to get one there. Interesting. Eddie Cooper puts his position down as cam slash left winger. Mm. So he's playing right winger right now. But that was a left foot cross. I think he might be a left footed player. 
Either that or he's got a great weak foot. And the, the Blacks are looking a bit shaky at the back here, Seb. Yeah, they are. That's the thing. Players that have impressed at this stage. It's a step up today. The best players we've had in the process. That's actually a good ball because the wind's going to keep it up. Eddie Cooper gets it across. Great ball in that from Eddie Cooper. That's the second good it's ball. Exactly he's where it needs to be. Chaka Barnett. Can he get his shot away? Comes Not out yet, though. Matthew Waldridge fancies a shot from distance. I Not thought maybe a deflection, but no. Not a bad strike. Snares and Ovington, they're, they're, they're going head to head really against each other, I think. The only Vukaj on the ball. Picked out. Matthew Waldridge has got forward from right back here. He's already had one decent shot. He's found Eddie Cooper, wants another good cross in. Cooper's crosses have been a problem all day. As an, I mean, the strikers have got to start taking them, Seb. Yeah, they have. Cooper looks dangerous. He's the man you've got to get it to. He's creating chances for a team. Got to say, Cooper's done quite well there. Pagey, hashtag United documentary superstar. What have you seen so far? It's been, it started off quite brightly. I think the Oranges have, are unfortunate not to be ahead. Um, Lucas stood out for me in the 10. I think he's been a key player for them so far. I'm trying to see if the Blacks are going to get back into the game a little bit more, but it seems it still seems a little bit cagey. I'm really liking the look of, uh, is it Black Holly, the right back? He's looking quite comfortable on the ball at the minute. Um, he's showing some good passing. So, yeah, I'm just looking for someone with passion that talks a lot and someone with a bit of fight. That's what I want. Mulligan, he hasn't done quite what he's done last week. Here, this is where Mendes needs to take it now. Okay, that's good. Jake Lindsay, what can you do? Got to keep it in. Which he's done. Lindsay's got Mendes next to him. Beats a man with a little spin. Crosses it in. Ooh! Oh! He's in! He's in! He's in! Jake Lindsay! I, I think it's a Lindsay goal set. It is a Lindsay goal. Lindsay had a dodgy goal last week as well. He crossed it in. And Dawling tried to claim it. It went down as Lindsay's goal. This one had a chance of Callum Palmer claiming it. But I think he's just done what he needs to do, Spen. He got the yard. He put the ball into the danger area. He's in the back of the net. I mean, the wind has definitely played a part Huge. in that. I think it was actually going to be a decent cross. The wind turned into a goal. Um, and obviously, yeah, you, as you mentioned, Callum Palmer's put the pressure on there, which has made Harrison Carl make the mistake. But it's a difficult one. I don't even know if it was that much of a mistake. That's what Harrison I'm saying. Cole, I don't think we can go fair. too hard on the keeper there because no, the wind's either. taking it. He's a young keeper. Jake Lindsay, second week in a row, he's got a goal off a cross. Three goals he's got. Yeah, shout out to anyone fasting and playing sports as well. We rate yeah, it's it. It's tough. Akante's been doing it, by the way. Kante put in an yep. MOM performance Fafana. Champions League semi final. Yeah, that's outrageous. Joel Older trying to get a shot off. Luca Capagia goes about his work very quietly, but he gets he it does. done. Thomas, can he link the play? Oh, oh he has lovely it in. ball. Chaka Barnett is getting forward. Yoni Vukaj has continued. Chaka Barnett might go on his own. Little ball roll. Good Big save. save from that man, George Parkin. Chaka Barnett could have had a couple today, yeah, Seb. I know, that's a worry for me, Chaka Barnett. He did get a goal last week, but I need to see more clinical finishing in this sort of game if you're going to make a name for yourself. A couple of chances now. One note, Spencer, I'm going to raise it. Reese Antoine de Costa was labouring, trying to join him in the penalty box there on the left. He should have been bursting a gut to get into that six-yard box for the cross, and he was struggling. I'm going to keep an eye on that. Right, Eddie, how have you found it so far, mate? I've, I'm feeling, feeling really confident, feeling good. Uh, much better, I'm finally trying to shake off a knock that I've had over the past couple of weeks. So, The level of intensity of the games is at a high level, so it's making it harder for everyone to try and show their abilities. So I feel like I've got to step up a little bit, a bit shaky for the first 10, 15 minutes. So hopefully I can step and make get into the game better. Do you think you have what it takes to win? I would hope so. If not, I wouldn't be here. There's no point in me being here if I didn't think I could make it or do something with this chance, then it's worth me trying at least. Race, uh, Rowan Dawling, sorry, looking for Joel Older, Ali Alanezi. Jack's dropped very deep here to he get the ball. Deep. Liam Mulligan's almost Don't blame me, he's not been getting much of the ball. That's a great little ball for Blake. Here we go, Sam Blackholly, the right back who loves to get forward. Little ball into Leon Sterling. Can he get oh, a shot off? He Harrison, Harrison Cole's done well, though. Close the angle. Yes. Reese Antoine de Costa. I want to see more from I him. Need, I need to see more from him at the moment. I wouldn't be putting him through. It's a shame because I feel he's got potential. He's got Mbappe type vibes, but I've not seen it in 11 aside yet, Spen. I've only seen it seven aside. It was a little bit last week. He did a few bits right at the start. Yeah, I think it was one little step over run he did, but didn't lead to anyone. Oh, I'll tell you what, he's had one. Hockney. He scored. No way. Oh my God. The wind is causing havoc. We saw a goal not that dissimilar in the women's game earlier. Uh, the wind is taking it and if the keeper's caught off their line, it can cause problems. But that is Jack Hockney with the goal from what has to be 40 yards plus. 
and Ar Harrison Cole was caught out. It was, I think it was Tapakunga who lost the ball in the middle there. But Jack Hockney has come on and scored a goal from miles out. Jack Hockney with the shaved head, with the sort of bigger stature, dropping deep and scoring goals like that is giving me Wayne Rooney type vibes, to be honest. That is impressive. It's, it's one thing to take that on. That shows confidence. But to pull it off, I mean, I know it's an empty net, but you've got to get a good strike on that. I mean, that's very well played. Jack Hockney, fair play, you know. Fair play. Fair play. Jack Hockney scored. Here you go. Tom has his through. Can he finish? What's his finishing like? Oh! oh the striker's oh, finish, Ali. That's what it's like. It's in the back of the net. Instant response from the Oranges. That's the one thing I didn't see from Tom as last week. He was constantly a physical threat, but I didn't see the finish. That was it. That was a striker's finish all the way. And you know what? Two strikers have come on as subs in this game. Both scored within a minute of each other. This game is popping off. You're in the right place, people. Do not go to sleep. I think it's been really good, uh, especially considering the conditions are horrific. And sat up here, you don't really even get a sense of that. But being down there before the game, the, there's a hell of a wind blowing. Uh, and there's been loads, loads of uh, pleasing things and really encouraging. And I've, I've really enjoyed the game. I think everybody out there is giving a good account of themselves. Um, and giving us decisions to make, which is what we want, really. This is, uh, yeah, it's really, really encouraging. Right, Jack, you've come on as a sub. How was it jumping into the game when everyone's kind of already warmed into it? Yeah, you know, it's hard always coming on as a sub, trying to adapt to the tempo is always hard, but I thought I fit in well. The boys, the other four subs done well when we come on. And we started well, pressing really well, and I think we've done well to get in, get in front, really. Talk me through your goal. Yeah, well, um, I thought we nicked it quite high up the pitch and I saw the goalkeeper off his line. So I thought, you know what, well, I'll just try and clip him and luckily it went in. I'm a big fan. Uh, <laughs> Kylian Mbappe, Team of the Year item. Uh, how have you found the game so far? Um, there's little little things that we need to work on. Obviously, they've got, we've gifted their goals really. The wins helped them a lot. Um, we've had a few, few chances we've missed, but other than that, we should in the second half get into the game a bit more and we'll hopefully we'll win. What is it that you know puts you above everyone else? What have you got to offer? If you've got to see on the pitch, you'll see on the pitch now. Oh, 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 that's a big statement. He said we'll see on the pitch now. It's a big second half. We're back underway for the second half. 2-1 to the Blacks against the Oranges here. If there's anything like the last 15 minutes of the first half here, it was we're in for a hell of a second half. Free kick here. Reese Antoine de Costa is going to take it. It's dropping in. Cleared by Kyron Cameron. Mulligan yeah. getting on it. Great battle between them and him and Vukaj. Yeah, that's a nice battle in there. But you're only thinking about it, you know. thing is, I actually don't. I like a lofted chip in here. When you're coming towards the goal, not across it, because the defender will find it really hard to judge where it's going to actually finish. So you just put pressure on. I'll clip this towards the back post. I'll get it towards Chucks. It's back very stick. central, though. It's very central to try and do That's what I mean. That. Just loft it. And he's he's, he's having a shot. It's not a bad Save. effort, Seb. Rebound. Goal. And is it? Reese Antoine de Costa. Reese Antoine de Costa on the rebound on the left foot, but it's come from the Yoni Vukaj free kick, who's having a very good five minutes. He so. has been very good. He's shown his quality there. And is that what we needed from Reese Antoine de Costa? Is that enough? I mean, it's, it's a goal at the end of the day. Could be. Can't ignore goals. Has he yep. done enough outside of that, though? You have to take it, don't you? You have to take the chance. He oh, does. His he left does. foot as well. Yeah, fair play. Reese Antoine de Costa with the finish. Looking very cheerful there. Two all, by the way. This game is he's not. It's not. Simmer, it's not simmering down, it's boiling. Go on then, Hockney, can you play it? Is he onside? I think he is. Leon Sterling's going to get there. Needs some players to aim at. How's your left foot cross? He stood it up. Mulligan on the edge. A little no look from Mulligan. Bontamba plays it out wide. Black Holly, what's his delivery like? Oh, it's a good ball, you it's know. It's a lovely little ball in there. Caused a problem. Go, oh, Joel Joel Older. Older with a cheeky little dip. We, we said about Reese and on the Costa, he needs to do something. He popped up with a goal. We said the same thing about Joel Older. He's got himself one as well. And the Blacks go 3-2 up, Spin. Yep, they're up again. And I tell you what, that is a great cross from Sam Blackholly. He's done himself no harm there, has he? Marlon will be very pleased with that. And Joel, that wasn't an easy finish. You know, yeah, he had he a couple players nice between him and the goal. That. Composed. Ray Snares is going to come back on. Waldridge is going to come back on. Kyron Cameron's taking it quickly. Joe Older, can he get a shot off? 
It's not a bad ball. I've eaten. Oh! It's wide. It's not in. It's not in. It looked like oh, it was offside, in. offside, but by the way, really nice ball from Joel Older, that. Really good He's ball. He's come alive. Yeah, Ovington. If you come forward from centre-back and get a goal, it's a great sign <laughs> in a trial. Great sign. I would love that. Rowan, mate, how have you found the game so far? I thought we've controlled the whole game, I think, really, and they've just had two lucky goals. Generally, I think the midfield, we're all over them, and they've just had a free kick and over the top. That's just been taken by the wind. But other than that, I think we should be up more than three. We haven't actually spoken to you yet so far this series, so tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm centre-back. I like to play on the ball. I like to play over the top. I like to make tackles. I, I like to just defend, basically, and uh, I like to play with the ball as well. And I've heard through the rumour mill that you've actually played against us, hashtag, so talk to me about that. Yeah, we came, we played you in December for Sawbridgeworth, and we lost a 1-0 free kick. That was a hard game. I was playing out of position. Do you think you have what it takes to win? Yeah, I, I think I'm... The best defensive player here, so I think I can win, yeah. Tapakanga can get forward. First He's got thing. Thomas to aim at. Sells him short. That is... Bontambo, who's dropped into centre-back for the second half, is uh, has done well to cut that out. Here is Mendes. Clips one forward towards Older. Older, little head down. Can he get oh. a shot off? It's not bad from Older at all. He's showing some signs of Joel Older. I'm showing some nice things here. I think he might have done enough, mate. I think he might have just in the last 10 minutes done enough. Kapadia. Oh, he sold him short with that back pass. If he had some more. Can he play? Older's gone offside. So offside. Palmer's not, though. Palmer's got Lindsay to his right. Lindsay's going to go inside now. Still Palmer. Can he find Lindsay on the little simple one? Older! That's a well-worked goal, Seb. It's a Joel second. Older, welcome to the next round. It's a second for Joel Older. But Callum Palmer me. on the burst as well. I will admit this. I didn't think Callum Palmer would keep putting these sort of performances in at this level, but he is. He is. He's good. This is going to get hard, mate. Because there's three wingers right there. Oh, the wingers. Older, Lindsay, Palmer. Yeah, the right wingers there. is hard. And then you've got but you've got others. You've got, you've got others. Is that exactly. Antoine da Costa, Chaka Barnett. Barnett is probably the Barnett's one Barnett's falling right now. He needs to do he's something. Dropping in the, in the, he's dropping overall. The Blacks 4-2 up now. The Oranges, who won last week, and we did give them some new players. We gave them some new defenders to help them out. But the Blacks, the best of the rest, perhaps not surprisingly, have come through here so far. Wow. Do you know what? The, vo the, the winger position could be an interesting place for the vote. Because that could be the difference. There's players that could be on the verge. But the I mean, who do you not want to put through <coughs> from the wingers? That's the thing. But they, can, they, they can guarantee. I'm looking at the wingers here. Chaka Barnett's the only one on the edge for me. I want to take Reese Anton to Costa if I can. Older going to cause problems again. He might be in against Ben for the hat trick. trick. First, that's not. unbelievable. Hit it. Joel Older on the right foot. The oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Joel Older completes the hat trick. And then he's done oh. a little basketball. <laughs> he's got the hashtag. He's Did he hashtag, hashtag it? it? Joel Older is here to stay, boys. That is big. Wow. I have, this is what the academy series is about, mate. Because I'll be honest, I thought Jolo was a good player. In the last 10 minutes, he showed me something I did wow. not think he had in his locker. That was a great finish. I actually thought he'd, he'd missed his chance on the right foot. That he kept going, though. was special. Oh, here's what I'm going to say, guys. First touch. Here's what I'm going to say. Do not vote for Joel Older because he's going through. Yeah. You'll yeah, be wasting true. your vote if you vote for Joel Older because he will go through. There's no he, way can I, can I, just, I am letting him not go can through. Can I just say something, though? I totally agree with that, and that is a waste of vote in a way. But I also like the guy who gets the vote to really feel like they deserve something, like a golden buzzer thing. And I feel like yeah, but he'll know. He'll know, and who knows that you know Al, Al Ricardo, our special guest judge, might pick him. True, but it's a waste of a vote. Your vote should go to someone on the edge. I do agree with that. I do agree with that as well. I'm torn on that whole thing. So we're nearing the end of the second half now, Yoni. How did you find your game? I think I did all right. I would have liked to dominate it a little bit more, like get on the ball a little bit more, create a few more chances. But I think I did all right when I was when I was on the pitch and I was on the ball. I found the right passes. I made a few mistakes a few times, but I think I made up for them with uh, chances created. And we got the goal from the free kick that I won, so not too bad. You know what? It started off very, very hot. Uh, a lot of intensity, as you can tell. The last 10, 15 minutes, a lot of players are getting tired. Yeah, for me, I say the game's pretty even first half, but uh, the Blacks have just started to take over. A couple of good goals by Joel, the winger. Uh, second one was very decent. His touch was unreal. Uh, shifted the ball, put it in the corner. But um, yeah, he's, he's been the standout player second half for me. Someone, there's going to be a moment between now and the end of the game that keeps someone in the process. Uh, I think there could be. I don't know who it will be. Well, I don't it, could know what also it, be. it could be a moment that takes someone out of it as well. Yes, true. <coughs> Callum Palmer's on the edge for me. 
Only because of what just happened from Joel Older, really. Mendes is just... Callum got a goal today, did he or not? Oh, it's a lovely strike from Chucks Maneki. Uh, the last five minutes have been big for him as well, by the way. And you may have just called that the minute it happened. Yeah. That could be it. Chucks Maneki's hit a very good strike. Wow. And that's a big goal. Five, three, eight goals, by the way, guys. You guys that have joined and become members to see this, you're getting a bang for your buck, I have to say. Crikey. Less than a pound a goal. Chucks Maneki, 5 3, big goal. Oh! Maneki, good feet in the box. He, he's good. Maneke, to Costa. Is that a handball? It is. Ref's given it. Pen against Joshua McFall there with a handball. What a moment for someone here. Who's taking it? I think Chucks wants it himself. I mean, he doesn't need it. He's got a goal. Who's he going to give it to? Who wants it? Who, who claims it, Seb? I think it might be Luca Capadia, mate. No? Da Costa. Anton Da Costa can oh, make wow. it too. Oh, this is huge for him. Well, I would actually argue there's more at risk if he misses it. I'm not going to lie. This could be his future of this pen drop. If he misses it, uh, if I he scores, I think he's going to go through. But if he misses it, it might If he hurt. scores it, he might be definitely through. If he misses it, he might be out. I'm telling you, he could be down to a penalty kick, which sounds ridiculous. He wanted it. Da Costa, slow run up. Wow. Seb, that's done him a lot of harm. Wow. That's done him a lot of harm, and that's the risk you take. I mean, fair play for the bravery for taking it, but I don't like those slow run-ups. No, I don't like at all. And give a shout out to George Parkin gun. for the save. George Great Parkin. Save, George Parkin. He's just made it. It's a really good save, by the way. Yeah. Because not only is it a good stop, but he turned it out for a corner, not in for a rebound like we saw happen earlier in the girls' game. Yeah. Mm. Oh, this is this is honestly this is going to get so lively. The deliberation. It's going to get so this, lively. This game is very stretched. Look at Antoine <coughs> de Costa. He's missed a penalty and he wants to make up for it. Antoine de Costa. He's he, got a score. Well, he's whipped oh, it. What a it's ball, a great by the way. Ball. Oh, 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 I don't believe it. Da Costa steps up. And it is Matthew Waldridge, the right back, who's oh jumped in at centre mid to score. Good header, great cross. The game is 5 4, Seb. What are we going to do? Waldridge, fair play to you. By the you way, it's well. a great ball in from Da Costa as well after the penalty miss. Yeah, it really was. Oh, this is going to be so difficult. This is going to be the most lively deliberation of the Ma series Matthew so far. Matthew Waldridge might end up getting taken through as a centre mid, Seb. Might, might be. A, I mean, McFall, McFall hasn't uh, stood out as much today. No, I agree with that. I agree with that. But he's a young lad, 18. How old is Waldridge? Boy, Ali Lanzi's done well today. Waldridge is, only, Waldridge is only 19. Ali Lanzi's done left and right back. <coughs> oh, this is going to be difficult, man. Sterling. Lindsay's going to get there, is he? He's still on. Jake Lindsay. Ball in. Oh, Benny! Got to be now for Benny. That's another goal! Ten <laughs> goals, boys! <laughs> oh, I four. don't believe this! Benny gets the goal. We are so screwed. We're Is that so enough? screwed. We're going to be here all night. Is that enough to save him? I don't know, man. But he's got another goal. I mean, there's been uh, ten of them, so... Ten goals for five quid. 50p a goal. Not to mention last week, next week, all this stuff you're getting. Best five pounds you've ever spent, people. That was honestly a great cross from the cost of the chat saying as well. I agree, it was brilliant. Oh, this is so hard. I'm I'm really interested what the two of the chat pick because in, yeah, in, in the vote earlier I knew who they were going to pick. Thing but is, if the cost scores that pen, it's two goals and an assist. Anyway, wow, the final whistle is gone, guys. That has made our lives very hard. Ten goals, six four win for the Blacks. A great game, Seb. Oh, just magical stuff. And the thing is, in some of the episodes so far, there's been a player. Like last week, Lindsay stood out, did loads of good stuff. Today, there's been loads of players who've done great things. Like, generally four or five, including the hat-trick from Joel Older. All right, so it's now that time of the episode where you need to pick your man of the match. My man of the match for this game is Rowan Dorling, number 15, left centre back, steps into his tackles, really confident, and overall just a great performance today. Rowan, you've been chosen by Ricardo at Career Mode Stars to go through to the next round. How does it make you feel? Uh, it's a huge honour to be chosen as man of the match. I thought the game was tough and there was a lot of good players, so to be chosen as man of the match is a big compliment to how I played today. And what does that do for your confidence now? Um, yeah, it just makes me feel so much better going into the next stage and hoping I can do well then as well, because the job's not done. Right, the football is done. We know the first person saved by our special guest judge, Ricardo from Career Mode Stars, is Rowan Dorling, the young centre-back. 18 years of age, very impressive. It's a good, solid pick from them. The live vote. 
was very close. But the pick of the bunch for the live chat was Benny Fiadzimor, the striker. To be honest, I'm, I'm shocked. Obviously, first thing, big up to you lot, because I, I didn't expect it. But you know, the performance basically said it for yourself, innit? You lot forward for me and I appreciate it. Next up, it was time for me, devs, all the guys to have a long chat about who was going to go through. It was very tough. Lots of discussions went on for quite some time. But ultimately, we came to a 16 man squad that will work together to try and beat our hashtag United first team next week. So the players that have earned their hashtag Academy shirt for the men's side of the series are in goal, Harrison Cole. We're taking two potential left backs through. Byron Humbles and Joshua McFall. We know Dawling is already through thanks to the Career Mode Stars vote. Ray Snares and Jamie Ovington. Two right back options. Sam Black Holly is still going strong. Marlon Harewood's pick from last episode. But we were really impressed with Matthew Waldridge, who did a bit of right back and got a goal at centre mid as well. So he's also a centre midfield option. He goes through. In midfield, Yoni Vukaj gets his shirt. Liam Mulligan is through. Luca Kapadia is also through. Out wide, Jake Lindsay still going strong. Joel Older, the hat trick hero from today, of course, is staying in. Reese Antoine de Costa is also still in the process. We know Benny Fiadzimor was saved by the live chat, and the other striker that's going through is Thomas Siemenchuk. They are our 16 man squad. Very, very tough. There's a few players that are going to feel hard done by to be left out, but that was a really tough decision. And next week it's going to get even tougher as they go up against the hashtag men's team. If you want to watch that match live, you can by becoming a member of the channel. Click that join button or follow the link in the description. Just five pounds. People that joined for today's game, 50p a goal. 10 goals in the men's game. That doesn't even include the women's game. So great bang for your buck. And that's a membership that lasts for a month. So you get anything else we put out live for members only. Drop a like on the video if you're enjoying the series, guys. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment below with who you think is going to win the men's series and the women's series. Let us know below. And until next time, don't forget to hashtag it.